What is focal length? Most people's definition of focal length is it's a characteristic of the lens that determines how wide an angle of view you get. That a short focal length will give you a very wide field of view and a long focal length will give you a narrower field of view. But that's actually the kind of resulting effect of what focal length is. It's not actually what focal length is in a lens. So grab your paracetamol because we're about to delve into the science behind what focal length is. But before we do that, a word from the sponsor of this video, me. Because a lot of you have been asking about these t-shirts that I wear, wanting to know where can they get one from. Well, the answer is very simple. This is actually a custom design t-shirt that I've had made specifically for doing YouTube videos. But the good news is you can now get your own one. There is a link in the description down below to my online Etsy store. So after this video, head on over to there, pick yourself up a t-shirt, and hopefully you'll look more fashionable than I do. Now, before we get to what focal length is, we first need to understand one very important characteristic of lenses, which is if you take a normal lens and you hold it up in front of you, you'll notice something very strange. Everything's upside down. It doesn't matter whether you hold it front or back, the image that passes through a lens is always upside down. So why is this? Well, a camera lens is made up of multiple glass elements. And the job of these glass elements is to manipulate and control the light that's entering the front of the lens to project as sharp an image as possible out of the back onto your camera sensor. But the light doesn't just kind of pass straight through the lens and out the back. What actually happens is that all of the light kind of hits a point where everything merges into a single point and then crosses over and then is projected out of the back. This is why images are upside down. It's the same principle as how your eye works. So when you're looking at something, the light that enters your eye also travels in the same way and gets flipped over. So the image that hits the retina at the back of your eye is actually upside down. But your brain compensates for this by turning the image upside down. And the same thing happens with camera lenses. The image that's actually being projected through the lens onto my sensor now looks something like this. But my camera knows that everything is upside down, so is turning everything back the right way up. So the point where all of the light crosses over is known as the point of convergence. Now, the focal length of a lens is the distance from the point of convergence to the sensor itself. So for example, this is a 50 millimeter lens, which means that the light is converging 50 millimeters away from the sensor itself. If this was a 16 millimeter lens, then the point of convergence is 16 millimeters away from the sensor. And if it's a 400 mil lens, then it's 400 mil from the sensor. Now, how does this affect what we actually see? Well, as I said at the start, and most people will tell you, the shorter focal lengths give you a wider angle of view and longer focal lengths give you a narrower angle of view. Now, obviously, the lens needs to project the image big enough to cover the sensor. So if we have a setup of, say, a full frame lens with a 200 mil focal length, that means our point of convergence is 200 millimeters away from the sensor. So the light lines have 200 millimeters to travel to go from lying on top of each other to far enough apart to cover the sensor. So obviously this is gonna create an angle that the light lines have to travel at in order to cover that distance. Now, if we go from say a 200 mil focal length down to a 20 millimeter focal length, that now means that the light lines only have two centimeters to get from point of convergence to far enough away to cover the sensor. This is gonna create a much harsher angle for the light lines, but it's gonna give us a much greater angle of view. Now, on the whole topic of focal length, this usually brings up another point of confusion for people in as much as focal length versus sensor size. So obviously you have, you know, full frame, APS-C, micro four thirds and so on. And people often wonder, is using a 50 millimeter full frame lens the same as a 50 millimeter APS-C, the same as a 50 millimeter micro four thirds? A 50 millimeter lens designed for full frame cameras, the point of convergence is 50 millimeters away from the sensor. If the lens is a 50 millimeter lens designed specifically for APS-C, the point of convergence is still 50 millimeters away from the sensor. If you have a 50 millimeter lens for micro four thirds, the point of convergence is still 50 millimeters away from the sensor. Where the difference comes in is how big an image it needs to project. 
Now, if we go back to the 200 millimeters on a full frame camera, okay, so we have 200 millimeters of travel to get from point of convergence to big enough to cover a 35 mil sensor. Now, if we take that same lens and we mount it onto an APS-C body, now the image that the lens projects still hasn't changed, but the amount of the image that the sensor can see is smaller so that the angle of view that it's actually seeing is a lot smaller as well. And this is where we get that effective focal length. Same with if we go down to micro four thirds, the sensor becomes smaller even still, we get an even narrower field of view. But that's using a full frame lens on a smaller sensor camera. Where the advantage comes in of smaller sensors is being able to make lenses smaller. So if we take away the full frame lens and we bring in a 200 millimeter lens designed specifically for micro four thirds, that means the point of convergence is still 200 millimeters from the sensor. The angle of view that we see is still exactly the same as whether it's a full frame lens or a micro four thirds lens, but the image that the lens has to project only has to be big enough to cover a micro four thirds sensor. This is what allows you to make the lens smaller and lighter than with a full frame camera. But that's it for this video, guys. Have you just learned something new about focal length or have I just wasted 10 minutes of your time? Leave your thoughts and comments in the box down below. Check out the link for my Etsy shop where you can buy one of these t-shirts if you so desire. Thank you so much for stopping by and hopefully I will see you in the next video.